to get after Navarrete. Like that. There he comes with the long, looping left hands that we've seen before, and Baez returns fire. He's thinking in there. Now, we'll see if he, if it's enough. But he's given himself a good... Mm, a little bit of separation. There was a right hand that filled the hole from Navarrete. Baez is doing a great job in not leaning forward. You know, he's standing pretty straight up, not leaning over his center line. And that's why he's not getting hit with those uppercuts. The punch combination from the champ. Digs to the body with that left hand. Pick it up as this round goes on. Pedro Navarrete had a sense of urgency in the corner telling him, look, I need you to have a sense of urgency because this fight is getting away from you. <laughs> and how quickly things can change. How he quickly things can he change. Yes. Emmanuel Navarrete. Baez is doing what he's been doing, boxing well. Navarrete just threw a right uppercut, just landed the perfect shot on the liver of Baez. Just a beautiful shot that fighters throw and work on all the time in the gym. Look right uppercut, the... he didn't see it coming, boom! Didn't have a chance to brace or deflect the shot. Delayed reaction. He thought about it. He said, I need to go down. The referee counted right in front of Baez's face. He didn't have what it took to get up because that shot paralyzes that right side and it takes all the wind out of you. My goodness. Baez did a good job at avoiding leaning forward that time. He leaned a little bit over that front knee. Now, but that they set him up with that uppercut. Just to get him to bring those arms in and then came around that right elbow right in the liver. Well placed. Well placed. Bam. That set up. That was a setup combination right there that ended this match. He said, I don't throw a perfect left hook, but it's perfect for me. Was it ever? And it was the end for Eduardo by a short break. We'll wrap.